Hey there everybody and welcome. In this lesson we are going to be learning how to create a alpha channel render so you can do things like create dynamic lower thirds and edit those and save some rendering process down the line. So what is an alpha channel? An alpha channel is essentially rendering just the part of your animation which you want to bring into the next file. So if you see here on our main composition box, we have a toggle transparency grid. Anything you see with this checkered pattern line is essentially alpha channeled out, meaning I could put a video behind here. I, you know, and we can just do that real quick. I'll show you what that is. So drop a video and it will overlay. This is really great, but unfortunately having to render all these layers over and over and over again can become rather cumbersome. So is there a way that you can pre-render a movie file with an alpha channel? And the answer is absolutely. So I'm gonna show you that today. So right now I have a pretty high quality uh, composition here. And I'm gonna take this composition, which is in 4K, and I've gone ahead and I could edit the title to be anything I wish, but I'm gonna go ahead and render this out. Now, if I were to just render this as a standard MP4, what you're gonna find is that black background will be present and it will be really hard to, again, layer that lower third on the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to add to render queue and I'm gonna add this composition to the render queue and I'm gonna play with some of the settings. So first setting is output. We're gonna go ahead and save that out. The second setting I'm gonna to go to is output module. Now this is really where the good stuff happens. So if you notice in the output module, we have a couple of options. We can change our format, so you have your standard H.264 there, and we can also change our channels. Now in H.264 particularly, you have an RGB and an alpha channel. So you'll notice the RGB and alpha is actually grayed out. So I would recommend using another format, such as a QuickTime, which has both RGB and alpha in the format. So if I do that, and I go ahead and do a quick render, which should only take a few seconds here, I'm gonna be able to export just that movie file of the text, which is gonna be really, really helpful. So if I were to go and create a new composition of me here, and I wanted to then drag in that alpha channeled title, you're gonna notice everything has been essentially flattened. Now it's not editable, obviously, but I can go ahead, and this is a very flattering still of me, but I could go ahead and... Hey there, everybody. My name is Matt Dombrowski. We could have a nice lower third or upper third or whatever it may be. In this particular case, I have dia uh, text on the bottom caption, so it's a little tricky. But you'll notice there is no background to this. So I can move this. I could uh, edit the background a little bit more. I could add, again, if I wanted to add block a, a, a solid, a block solid, I could totally do that by just dragging it to a new composition and then dragging my title movie into that, which it already is, as you can see. And now I have the ability to hit Control Y, open up my solid panel, and you know maybe we want this to be kind of a, maybe not yellow, but maybe like a bluish background. So if we go ahead and change that and drag that underneath, you're gonna see now we have a bluish background. And so this is really nice because then when we go to drop it on our file, uh, we don't need to drop that anymore. We're gonna just drop the newly formatted piece, scale that down, and now we have a little backdrop. We could do a little intro. We could do all sorts of fun stuff. So that's one way I like to use the uh, alpha channel. The other fun way is I'm gonna create a new composition and this is a great way to kind of simulate special effects. So let's say you don't have the budget to have really intense fog effects, for instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a very short three second composition of fog. And I have here a downloaded fog asset that's just the still picture. So you can see I purposely made the composition a little bigger, but I'm gonna put this still picture, which is also a PNG, which was alpha channeled. So remember when you see that black, it's not necessarily gonna be there. And also the gray values are gonna disappear as well, which is gonna be really important. So if I take this composition, I duplicate it a few times and you know I can kind of switch it and maybe we're gonna add a few different positional keyframes. So P for position, 
and in three seconds again we will float it so we'll start over here go a couple seconds in float over here and we'll do the same thing for the bottom one we'll just kind of start p for position and then we'll kind of work backwards on that one we'll just float it in a little bit so we have this kind of cool parallaxed foggy effect uh and you know you can play around with these keyframes we can switch them up it's up to you so you can see now we have this parallax fog and you can see where you could get more detailed with distorts and whatnot i'm going to do the same thing though and i'm going to flatten this because i don't want this to render every single time so if i go to my composition uh or excuse me uh composition add to render queue i can see i can do the same exact process and set this to again we're going to set it to a movie format and we're going to make sure that we do that rgb plus alpha which is going to be really really important the trick with this is you do want to make sure that again everything is set to your liking and all the all the different setup pieces are working so i'm going to go ahead and add to render queue high quality set this again if you do that h264 that won't be there but if you do quicktime rgb plus alpha will be there and we'll get OK. We'll render this out too. And this is again just a quick example to keep the video short. But when I pull this back in, I now, and we'll kind of be silly here and add some fog, but I now have the ability to add fog over my movie. And you can do some fun things with this, especially if you're doing luma mats. Um, if you're familiar with that in After Effects, those are really, really fun ways to kind of uh, do some track matting effects. So you can kind of Play around a little bit with your track mats and your luma mats just to get some cool transitions and all sorts of fun stuff so again a short quick tutorial on how to export alpha channels to not only streamline your render process keep the file sizes down but also give you some really cool effects all right everybody thanks and have a good one